Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I am working on these, what are they calling these little guys here? Standing wood house boxes. Um, I have three different kinds here. These are from Dollar Tree. And they have these little boxes here that you can put whatever you want into. I thought these would be great for um, different times of the year to decorate them up for, um, you know, different occasions, whatever. They would be great for like on a tiered tray or, you know, just to sit around as a decoration, make a nice little gift for somebody. Um, so they have this one here that has the heart on it. Um, I'm going to do that one more for a, I don't know, a summary kind of uh, thing here. And then I have this one here with the butterfly that I'm going to do more of an Easter theme for this one. And then this one I thought would be great to do for like summer, 4th of July um, kind of decoration on that one. So for this one here, I'm going to paint these, all of these. It's going to take some time, so I'm not going to make you guys watch me paint all these because you guys know how to paint. You can paint them however you want, whatever colors you want to. But for these two, I'm painting the fronts of these. This part here is going to be painted in white. Um, and I think I decided on this one, this is going to be painted white because I'm going to decoupage a napkin on here and I'm going to use part of one of these. I'm just going to put these on the front, the very front of the box part of these. So this one's from Dollar Tree. I got last year. So I'm going to use some of that for on the front of the one with the star and the one with the heart here. I'm going to use some of these pretty roses. Now these came from, uh, Timu. And I'll put this up here if anybody wants to pause that to get, let me get it nice and close, to get the number or whatever from Timu. I thought these were really, really pretty napkins. So we're going to use some of those on the ones with the heart. And I'm not going to decoupage on this one. This one I'm just going to paint some fun colors. I think I'm going to do this front box here in this limeade color. It's just apple barrel. Uh, this is a matte finish. I'm using all different kinds of paint. It doesn't matter. Whatever you have. Just use whatever you have is what I'm saying here. <laughs> but this is called lemonade or limeade rather. And then I'm going to paint this part up in here, this pink parfait. Um, I thought that would be fun. And then the roofs, I think I'm going to do all of them with this. It's called classy caramel. Um, I couldn't make up my mind what color I wanted to do them in. So that's what I decided on. And that's what we're going to go with. And then on this one, we are going to paint the back of this one red. And then the roof, I'm going to paint this part white and then this part blue. And I thought that would be pretty cool. Um, and just whatever colors you have. I have this Admiral blue, blue in Apple Barrel acrylic paint. I have some using the white chalk paint. Um, they're all going to get a coat of the um, gloss Mod Podge. So it'll all blend in in the end. So it really doesn't matter. Whatever you want to use. I have some of this crim crimson red that I have here in chalk paint too for this one. And... Uh, yeah, so that's just what I'm going to use. Now, on this one for Easter, I figured it would be fun to use <clears throat> some of these little wooden pieces that they have at Dollar Tree. They have these little eggs, and they have the little carrots, and they have the little little ducks or chicks or whatever they are. I guess they're ducks. Um, and then you can paint them whatever fun colors you want. I painted some of the eggs up. Um, you know, just they're easy. They're fun to do. And then the little carrot I painted just with some orange and green. And I just took a Sharpie and made some lines on there to make it look a little bit better. And then we have the little chick here or duck, whatever you are. I think it's a duck. Um, I just painted that one yellow and took a Sharpie and added, you know, little wings a little bit on the tail. And then the bunny, I just painted white. I don't think I had the wooden bunnies out here. No, but I already put them away. Oh, here they are. Just take up the little packs. And you get 14 in a in a package here of these little wooden things. So I just painted that one white, gave it a little bit of a pink nose, and just with a Sharpie, I made a little sleepy looking eye. So that's what we're gonna do on this one here. We're not gonna decoupage on this one. So for these, like I said, I'm gonna paint the fronts and the sides white, just so I, the napkins will show up really pretty. And then on this one, I'm gonna paint this the lime and then the pink and the brown. So let me go ahead and get these painted because this is going to take me a while, and like I said, I'm not going to make you guys watch me do all this, but this is just how we're going to get started. Take yourself a nice brush. You may have to sand some of this down. They weren't, what the heck is stuck on there? They weren't too, too bad, so I did sand some of that off, and um, yeah, it just took a little tiny, tiny bit of sanding, but they're fine. So yeah, we're just going to paint this all white here in the box, and then 
Yeah, I'll figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of this. I may paint this part pink. I'm not sure yet. We'll find out when we come back and they're painted. So let me get going on painting these guys, and then I'll show you how I'm going to decoupage and put those other decorations on. All right, guys, I got these all painted. I'll show you how I painted these. This one I just painted the inside uh, with that pretty pink, and I did the brown roof. The back I just painted white. Um, and this I painted white because we're going to decoupage on there. Same with this one. And this one is our red, white, and blue one. I'll carry you through the summer if you want to decorate this little guy up for that. I figured I'd just do all different ones while I'm at it here. And then this one's going to be our Easter one. I love these colors. <laughs> this one I painted the back, that fun green. But it doesn't matter. If you wanted to hang these, you could always just like put a piece of like jute string back here or something, hot glue it on. Because these things are very, very light if you wanted to hang them up. But anyway, I want to get this decoupage going here. So first I'm going to do this one here. This is my napkin from Timu. Um, all I did was pick out what images I want to use. I'm not using this big one, obviously, because it won't fit. But it had a whole bunch of these little roses on here. So the first thing you got to do is just separate these. These are only a two-ply. So you take the one-ply off. Otherwise, you'll end up with a ton of wrinkles. And I always save that to wipe my hands on later. Um, and all I did for these, a lot of times I'll use my water pen and stuff to... Um, at them but I did have pretty good luck with these these are a little bit tougher of a napkin you know they're not too flimsy so I just went around and just you know keep my finger on the image you know so I don't tear it and then just kind of rip it but that's all I did for these but see just put your finger over top of that and then when you tear it won't tear down too low and let's see we can get around this rose and there you go you have your little image torn out and I like the torn edges because it just blends in so much nicer when you decoupage it on there and I'll show you that my husband's taking the dog for a walk so my ring doorbell just let me know that <laughs> uh, but anyway um, I already tore a bunch of these out and I figured I'm gonna put this nice big one here on the front and then whatever hangs over you don't even worry about that because you can just take a nail file after it dries and I'll show you how to do that you know when we're done here but um, yeah, you can just take a nail file and trim them all off. So I'm thinking right about here. I think that'll look good. What do you think? Maybe just angle it a little bit different. Kind of wanted that up there though. All right, we're going with it just like that. So we're gonna get some Mod Podge. I have the gloss Mod Podge from um, Dollar Tree. They had it fully stocked again the other day with gloss and matte finish. I don't usually use a matte finish very often for anything. And then of course I'm gonna use one of my favorite brushes from Dollar Tree. This one's a mess. I, I never seem to get to my brushes. By the time I get done with my video and then I start editing my video and doing stuff, my poor brushes, they suffer. But anyway, I'm just gonna put a little bit, not too, too much, um, Mod Podge on here to get this to lay down nice and since this is a big piece I figured that would be the easiest way to do that and then I'm just going to pull up this side here carefully and uh, get this stuck down and then after we get it all stuck down we can go over top of it but I'm going to get the other ones on here first actually this is going to go around the edge here so we're going to stick that down um, I want to get the other ones on and then we'll go over all of it with the Mod Podge. But I think that's going to look really pretty. Love it. All right, so then I just took a couple of these smaller ones and these can like overlap um, with the leaves and things. They'll blend right in there. So let's see, maybe we'll put this one like so. I think that's going to overlap a little bit too much so I might just tear this one set of leaves off of here just because I think it's going to be too much to try to blend in. All right I think that should be better. Yeah that'll blend in nicely. Okay so we are just going to put a little bit of Mod Podge on here. Back you go. Stick you down nicely and then turn it around here and get this side. And like I said, we're going to go over top of this so it'll the Mod Podge will soak through. Um, you don't want to put 
if you have some left over here, don't push that down because we're going to sand, we're going to file that off later. So you don't want to push that one down. But see how that blended in going around the corner now? Focus camera that you can't even really tell that it was ripped off. I love how this stuff, I love how this works. I love decoupage. You guys know that. All right, so I don't think, let's see. Maybe we can use one of these bigger ones here. I'm not tearing out anymore. Let's just put this baby right here. And I think that'll blend in nicely. <clears throat> yep. All right, so let's hold that back. Get a little bit of Mod Podge, not too much. Just enough to hold this in place for me here. And I think that should, yep, blend in perfectly going around that corner. See how nice that blends in when you tear it like that? All right, so I don't want to set this down now because I have Mod Podge on the other side. All right, now I don't want to get that up too high because I don't want it to stick up higher than that. Um, I don't think it's even going to go that high. There we go. There. And you don't want to you don't want to glue this end down either because we're going to sand them off when we're finished. All right, so now all we have to do is go over top of this to make this blend in real nicely and get any wrinkles out that you see. All right, over here. I'm gonna get up all those little like scalloped edges there and make sure that's all stuck down nice. And just paint it all with the Mod Podge because you know, if you don't, you're gonna have to go over it because it'll be a dull spot because this is a gloss finish. And if you want to, you can go ahead and gloss the rest of it up too. And um, you know, it's all your own, everybody's individual tastes. But that's that one. So we're gonna set this one somewhere here. Let's just. There you go. And I just got Mod Podge on here. I don't want it on here, get off. All right, for this one, I just separated. These are also two ply from Dollar Tree. And all I did was separate that. And then I just kind of measured them and cut them out. So they were approximately the right size. Cause I am just gonna go all the way across the front here with this, um, with our stars and stripes. And this is gonna be a really easy one. But we wanna get it all up here. So that sticks nice. See, easy peasy. Take, flip this down. I only need a little bit just to get this started here. There we go. And you see how it goes all the way up to the tips of those and then we'll go in with that file and I'll show you that after this all dries. A little bit went around the edge here. All right, this one too, just a tiny bit. All right, and the same thing with the sides. I just, you know, I gotta figure out which way I measured this now, but now that'll be fine. We will just sand that off. But now on this side, I wanna make sure I don't go up too high because I don't want it to go up any higher than the white. I don't want that to stick. All right, so let's take one of these babies here which way did I do it? It really doesn't make a difference. All right, well, we're gonna do it this way. Since that's a nice straight edge there. Yeah, it's up close enough. Uh, it's not quite up to the tips, but I'm not taking it off now. All right, and then we're just gonna put this one on over here. right there because I don't want that any higher either and then we'll just take this one here and glue her down and then we'll come back and get them all sanded off nice okay, good I don't want to see a crease or I don't want to see any white there all right so that's it all I have to do is go over top of this and make sure all this gets glued down nicely 
like I said, this will soak right through your one ply. I need some more Mod Podge. same direction too so it looks nice make sure that corner looks nice and neat and I don't want to go up too high here I can't tell now I'm more guessing right there and you don't want to push these down here on the bottom or you won't be able to get them off so leave them sticking up so we can sand them off after this dries a little wrinkler but it doesn't matter because it's in between those little spiky things all right so now we got to let these both dry until we can sand them off and see how pretty they are now the other guy whoops get back there don't you mess up on me here ah uh, there we go oh i just did the same thing there we go okay now i need something to lean this on it's not going to touch that. Hmm. All right, let's put a jar of paint here and one over here. No! You know what? Knock this baby down. All right. Oh, you're making me mad. to hold you up just to balance it here and it's being really stubborn there we go all right now stay <laughs> all right now this guy here is going to be much much simpler because we are just going to take our hot glue gun we're going to take our cute little figures here that we uh, want to put on i also pulled out a little ladybug i thought would be cute maybe to add on here that you know they have in the spring usually a dollar tree has a little foam sticker on there that i'm just going to take off because i'm going to hot glue this baby down um, so you can usually just scrape that off with your finger now. It comes off pretty easy. There. So that was that. And then we're going to put these guys on here somehow. All right. So first I'm going to start with my little chick. We're just going to add some hot glue here to this girl. Girl, guy, whatever you may be. And I want her to be just kind of a little bit on an angle. Just so I know that our carrot's going to fit in there nicely. And then our little bunny. We're going to put our little bunny down here, so she's just like sitting on the edge. There we go, make sure, there we go. And then she's jumping up, and then we can figure out exactly where we want this carrot. So I do want it to stick up. I actually went back and painted this a different color, because I didn't realize that I had painted these the same color as this, and it just disappeared. But anywho, I just changed it to a different color, I don't remember what I used now, but like I said, just choose what you have. And I think I want that just on a slight angle also. And sticking up there just a little bit over the edge. So there is the front of this little guy here. And then I want to add this ladybug because I think it'll be super, super cute. And I'm not sure where I want. I should have figured that out first. But I think it's going to go up here above the butterfly. Just hot glued that right up there on top. That's so cute. All right, so then I took some of these floral foam. These are actually made for like real flowers. I think they, I can't remember if these come in a three or a four pack at Dollar Tree. I only had a couple left. So, um, but this stuff is really, it's much softer than the other stuff is because it's meant to hold water to keep your fresh flowers clean. But anyway, I took one, I think it was one and a part of another one. And then I just made these big enough so they're gonna fit down in here like so, but I want to add a, just a little bit of hot glue to that. Not that it's really going to matter because, you know, we're not going to be flipping these around anywhere, but there we go. That'll hold that right in there for whatever little decorations you choose. I was so excited because I got more of these. I ordered them. I had to put an order in a Walmart, a delivery order, and they just came to my front door. That is so cool. Um, so I picked up six more, and these were only $1.28 now. I thought I paid like $1.89 for these boxwoods from Walmart 
these boxwood picks. So I got six more of them because I use these like crazy. Um, and I thought these would be great. These make great fillers. Um, it's going to be a little tall here. I want to cut these little things. I just took my old broken steak knife that I keep in here and just slice these and, you know, measure to fit in there. So let's see. These I know are going to be way, way too tall. Yes. So I'm going to have to take... Maybe if I take this one out. Let's see. I may have to just completely take these off and re-stake them because I think even... Well, I could put those on the side. They might look kind of cute on the side like that. What do you think? Not even in the foam. <laughs> but that's a cute idea. I don't want to... Yeah, it's going to have to go down the side like that. I'm just going to hot glue that in there. Because I think that looks real cute hanging off the side like that. And I think I'll do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to add some of the reindeer moss. My favorite moss. Let's see. Can I find another one just like that one? I think this is it. Take this piece, cut that off, and then cut the center piece out. Is what we did. But whatever you want to use. You don't have to use the boxwood. You can use whatever else you want to use. But it just makes a really nice filler. I just don't want it to cover up my butterfly. So I'm going to have to get you to go out. Alright, I am just going to add a little hot glue to those on the side here. And I'm add a hot glue on the side here. <laughs> oh my god, the stuff that's stuck on this glue gun right now is ridiculous. Alright. Now I want you to stay over there nicely. And then we're going to put a little glue down in here to hold those in place. There we go. Oh, I think that's cute. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of the reindeer moss and keep that one of these handy dandy little containers I got from Dollar Tree. And we're just going to fill in with a little of that. You don't need much, but it makes a huge difference. Covers up any of these holes here where that was stuck down in there. You can't even tell now. And then just a little bit more for the center. I love this stuff because there's no dust. It doesn't fly all over the place. Um, I mean, I know it's great for fall projects, the other moss, but this stuff, man, the rest of the year, awesome. So this is what it is, anyway, if anybody. It's usually in the floral section, the reindeer moss. And I just dump it in this container just because it's easier to work with. All right. All right, so that covers up anything we don't want to see. I want to do with the lid. I thought it would be cute just to put a couple of flowers in here. I don't know which ones I want to use. I have all these little flowers from Dollar Tree. I think those blue ones are going to be way too tall. But I thought maybe a couple of these little yellow flowers and maybe just a couple of these pink. Or the light pink. Mm, I think the dark pink. I'll save the light pink for the other one. So we're just going to... Yeah, these are real long too. So you kind of got to just figure out what we're doing here. All right, what I'm going to do is take this wire, um, cut these off, and I'm just going to hot glue that to the wire. I think that'll work. What do you think? Let's try it. We'll know till we try. All right, so let's glue that to this flower. Now it's going to take me a while to do all that. All right, I'm going to do one of these because um, I'm just going to cut off some of the wires that I didn't use from the, like here, like you have this extra wire. Let's cut a piece of that off and add it to your little flowers here. I'm just going to do one of these because it's going to take me a little bit to do that with these, but I think that'll work great. Stick that one in there like so. Ta-da! And then that'll just stick up there like that. And I think I'm going to have to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to have to do the same thing with these yellow ones because they're just going to be way, way too tall. So we're just going to put in two yellow ones, two pink flowers, and then I want to add, um, I don't want these too tall. Oh, I'll glue it right there. All right, so I'm going to add them to a wire. I'm going to add some of these little, um, what are they called, vase filler. 
from Dollar Tree. It's all different sizes in here. I think I'm going to go with, let's see, what looks better. We have this side. That's way too big. We have, come on, they're all hiding on me now that I want to get them out of here. These little pink ones and these medium pink ones. Let's see. Do you want the tiny ones or do you want the medium ones? Hmm. Another decision. I think I'm going with the tiny ones. That's what I'm doing. So we're going to grab, if I can find another one, there's a yellow one and a purple one. And we'll add some of those in there. And I think that'll be so cute. I think that's all I'm going to do. Just those flowers and those little balls. It'll kind of look like, you know, an Easter egg. What color am I missing? Anything? I got yellow, purple, pink. I got e oh, blue. Here's a blue one. There we go. I'll use those in there. I think that'll be plenty. You don't need a lot in here, and it's just going to be so darn cute. All right, so let me finish putting the wires on these flowers, and then I will come back and we'll put the rest of it on. All right, I decided I want to put one of these little mini carrots in there. I get these from Dollar Tree, too. There's like 18 in a pack they have in the Easter crafty section there. So I think I'm going to put one of these in here. Why not? Maybe less of the other things I was going to do, but I think this will look cute. So I put the little flowers in there, and then I'm just going to hot glue this down in here. Get it next to the wood. Kind of want it on a little bit of an angle. Sticking up a little bit. There we go. So there we have our carrot in there. Even though we have a carrot here, I thought it would be cute. And then I am just going to take a couple of these little vase fillers here and just glue them on in here with our not on my flower um boxwood here glue that right on there let's see let's put a blue one over here for something different that one right in there in the boxwoods and maybe we'll just add a pink one here yep that's what i'm doing and that's it i'm done oh there was some hot glue sticking up out of there all right you're going right here and you can pop up just a little bit more actually sit that on top of it i think that's it i'm not going to add any more to it enough is enough here i mean like i said add what you want you don't want too much too little more ah, it doesn't matter the sky's the limit <laughs> that's why crafting's fun <clears throat> but that's it this one's finished i'm not going to do any more to it like I said, if you want to add a hanger on the back here, you could add a hanger and hang it up. But that's so darn cute. But yeah, I didn't have a lot of tiny flowers. These are the smallest flowers that I have. So decided to stick them in there. What are these actually? Um, Dianthus? Dianthus. I guess I'm saying that right. I don't know. I'm terrible with pronunciations. But anyway, that is this one. Now, I don't know if these are... Mm, still a little tacky, so we're going to wait just a little bit. Um, I'm just going to leave this in here and go throw in a load of laundry or something, and um, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, these are dry now. Um, I already filed this one off. I'm going to show you. I left this one on here. Uh, hanging over the edge and up here on the top in between all those things. I just want to show you how it's done, but it's really loud. So I figured I'd get this one all sanded off. Look how nice that looks towards the bottom. I also glued my little foam square in there to get ready to decorate. I'm going to finish decorating these off stream because I'm going to do them pretty much the same way, just maybe a couple different flowers or something. And these videos can get so, so long. So I figure I will do that off camera and I will just show you what I've added in here. I don't have a lot for 4th of July. Um, but anyway, let's, let's see how we did this here. All right, so you see how this just hangs off the edge here. You always want to go away from it. You don't ever want to sand up this way because you'll ruin your napkin. So you just want to do it on an angle. Just Dollar Tree mail file. And then just go down like that, and it comes right off beautifully. Now, hopefully, I didn't get that. I did get that stuck on there. I think a little bit. Um, and do the same thing. Hopefully, it'll come off. Oh, it did. It popped right off. Look at that! Yay! So then you have your nice. I mean, look how nice and straight the edges all look when you do it like that. It's perfect. And then same thing. You're just going to go up. Actually, I'm going to push up on these because I don't want to pull down to get my nice. Um, edges here. There we go. 
get off of there. You don't belong there. And then just go in between, just, you know, pushing up. But this can get quite noisy if you're going at it here too much. Yeah, I almost messed up because I pulled down on that. You guys probably were yelling like, no. <laughs> All right. And then that piece will just get off of there. And that's it. Then we have all our nice little points and everything all nicely cleaned up. It's so easy. I mean, that's why I said, don't worry about the edges. If it doesn't fit right, you just file it off when we're done. And I had painted all these white to begin with. So I'm just going to glue this little guy down in here now. My little foam square. And uh, it's all ready to decorate. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you the stuff I'm going to use here. Of course, I'm going to use some more of the boxwoods just because I love them as a little filler. Um, they would look cute in the center too, but you don't want to cover up your little butterfly and stuff. So for this one, I don't have a lot, you know, of Fourth of July stuff out right now. But I did find these little pom-pom things here. I don't know if these were from Dollar Tree or not. I believe they were. Yes, Greenbrier. Um, I just found some stuff down the garage in a, in a basket of stuff I had. I thought maybe I'd stick one of those down in there. Um, I have some of these five-piece berry picks in red, white, and blue. Of course, none of the stuff's out yet. It'll be out any second, trust me. The way things go so fast at Dollar Tree. Uh, those, and then on this one, I'm just going to add some, you know, some of the greens and just a, f a few pretty flowers, I think, and that's all. I don't want to overdo them. Um, you know, not crazy like the little Easter guy here, because these are all pretty much the showstoppers right here when you pick out your napkin that you want to use. So let me go ahead and finish those and then I'll come back and show you how they all turned out. All right, for this red, white, and blue one, I just took one of those pom-pom things off of there, stuck it right down in the middle. I didn't use any moss or anything in this one. I'll probably add something different to it. Um, I may trim some of these off too so they don't stick in front of that star. You could even set like a flameless candle back there, make that look real pretty at night. Um, just a thought. And then I just stuck some of those berries from those red, white, and blue berry picks in there. But like I said, maybe when, uh, that's the great thing with these too, you can pop this stuff out and redo it if you don't want it that way. And I'm still finding glue webs. I even held these up to the light, thought I had them all, and I always see another one. <laughs> but that's all I did for that one. This one, I just took a couple of pieces of the boxwood, not as much as, you know, the other one. I just did some shorter ones on the side. And then I had some of these little picks here. I don't know if I have any more to show you. I hope we can find them again one day at Dollar Tree. Um, it was these, they're, they're called roses, but they're these little tiny plastic looking roses. And I just popped these right off and I just glued them right down into the uh, floral foam. So, because I didn't want a lot on this one. I want this to be the, like I said, the star of the project. But I think they came out real cute and I'm real happy with them. These were fun to do. I love doing these little um, projects here, figuring out how to decorate them up when I see them. So I'll take a nice picture of these and put them at the end. And uh, thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed these projects. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.